G'day and welcome back to Unimig. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Viper MIG 185 for gas shielded MIG welding and gasless MIG welding. We're going to start with gas shielded MIG. To set up on gasless, please skip to 3 minutes 45. First of all, let's plug our machine into our 10 amp power point and organise our suitable PPE. Step 1, polarity. We are going to start off with gas shielded MIG welding. So our earth lead goes into the negative panel mount socket while the polarity cable goes into the positive panel mount socket and our torch into the Euro connection which makes our setup DC electrode positive. Step 2, gas connection. It's now time to connect our gas hose to the gas inlet on the back of our machine and crimping it tight using a hose clamp. Also insert the regulator tail into the other end of the gas hose and crimp using a hose clamp. This is the regulator we're using. Now we connect our argon regulator to our gas bottle and tighten using a spanner. This is an argon CO2 mixture, ideal for MIG welding mild steel. Next step is to attach the other end of the gas hose to the regulator and tighten once again with a spanner. Step 3. Rollers. We need a V-groove roller for solid wire. Since we're using a 0.8 wire, we'll need a 0.8 roller. To change a roller, unscrew the retaining cap, take off existing roller, replace with V-groove roller, and screw back the retaining cap. Step four, installing the wire. First, we need to remove the spool retaining nut. This machine will take one kilo spool or a five kilo spool. We'll be demonstrating how to do both, but we'll start with a five kilo spool. Mount the spool onto the spool holder, making sure the location holes match the spool locator. Then replace the nut and tighten. For one kilo spools, remove the five kilo spool adapter. Slide on the one kilo spool and reattach the nut and spring. Feed the wire through the inlet guide on top of the roller and into the guide tube. Secure the top arm with the tensioner and tighten just enough so the wire feeds through. Step 5. Feeding the wire. Remove the front end torch consumables so the wire feeds through smoothly and feed the wire using the inch button. Replace your tip and shroud on the front end of the torch, not to forget to cut the excess wire sticking out. Step six, MIG welding. The next step is to set your burn back. Burn back dictates how far your wire will stick out once you finish your weld. I recommend setting it halfway. Also set your spool gun slash standard MIG switch to standard and the selector switch on the front panel to MIG. There is a general guide on the inside of the machine on setting up your amps and voltage, depending on the thickness of metal to be welded. Now that you have set your parameters, it's time to turn your gas on to around 10 to 12 litres per minute and attach the earth clamp to your workpiece. You are now ready to weld. Now let's set up the Viper 185 for gasless MIG welding. Step one, polarity. Starting off, our earth lead will go into the positive panel mount socket while the polarity cable goes into the negative panel mount socket and the torch into the Euro connection which makes our setup DC electrode negative. Step 2. Rollers. We'll need an F-groove roller for gasless wire. Since we're using 0.8 wire, we'll need a 0.8 roller. To change the roller, unscrew the retaining cap, take off the existing roller Replace with the F-groove roller and screw back retaining cap. Step 3. Installing the wire. First we need to remove the spool retaining nut. This machine will take 1 kilo spool or a 5 kilo spool. We'll be demonstrating how to do both but we'll start with a 5 kilo spool. Mount the spool onto the spool holder making sure the location holes match the spool locator then replace the nut and tighten. For 1 kilo spools Remove the 5 kilo spool adapter, 
slot on one kilo spool and reattach nut in the spring. Feed the wire through the inlet guide on top of the roller and into the guide tube. Secure the top arm with the tensioner and tighten just enough so the wire feeds through. Step 4. Feeding the wire. Make sure you have removed the front end torch consumables so the wire feeds through smoothly and feed the wire using the inch button. Replace your tip and shroud on the front end of the torch not forgetting to cut off the excess wire sticking out. Step 5. MIG welding. Now it's time to set your burn back. Burn back dictates how far your wire will stick out once you finish your weld. We recommend setting it halfway. Also set your spool gun slash standard MIG switch to standard and the selector switch on the front panel to MIG. There is a general guide on the inside of the machine on setting up your amps and voltage depending on the thickness of metal to be welded. Once you've set your amps and volts, it's time to attach your earth clamp to your workpiece and you're ready to weld.